scientists reveal what actually happened to the dinosaurs. Hey guys, what is up? Charlotte here and this is IO. So before we get into this video, what is your favorite dinosaur? Mine is the one in Jurassic Park that like spits out all the acid, only because I would secretly love to be able to spit acid at trolls. Alrighty, let's get to it. So there's been a lot of new compelling research about dinosaurs lately and the latest string of hypotheses has to do with what wiped out the dinosaurs. It does kind of make you wonder why certain species survive through what killed the dinosaurs. And guess what? It all has to do with oil. Yes, oil. Let me explain. So, the most believable theory of what killed the dinosaurs was a massive impact from an asteroid. That happened at the Yucatan site in Mexico about 66 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period. This impact led to the macroevolution of mammals and eventually humans. A group of scientists from Tohoku University in Japan believe that there was actually a ton of underground oil that was ignited when that asteroid hit Earth. This sent a bunch of black carbon into the atmosphere. So you know how Beijing has a ton of man-made black carbon in its air? Well, now you do if you didn't. So usually the black carbon only stays in the lower atmosphere for a couple days before it falls to the surface of Earth. When it does this, it warms the planet by absorbing heat. But if black carbon is ejected into the stratosphere, which is higher up in our atmosphere, it actually stays there, shading the planet from sun and cooling the Earth. And this prevents plants from growing because hey, there's no light and no photosynthesis. Can you guys imagine a world like that, with so much soot in the atmosphere that it turned our planet into a state of perpetual darkness? The darkness caused the earth to experience near freezing conditions. Over years and years it would kill off plants, then herbivores, and then eventually all the carnivores because they had nothing to eat. When the asteroid hit earth, it may have sent up up to 3 billion tons of soot into the air. That's hundreds and hundreds of times more black carbon than industrial man made black carbon today. So you're probably wondering why it did not kill off everything on earth at the time of the impact. Well, the soot in the atmosphere caused the regions around the poles to cool off far more than the regions around the equator. This was the reason for all the marine extinctions that would have previously populated this area. And other parts of the world experienced droughts. The droughts would turn rainforests into vast deserts, and that killed off the herbivores. Freshwater organisms could have survived from runoff water in rivers that came from higher altitudes. This water would not have been affected as much by the impact of the asteroid. That's why you still see creatures like frogs and freshwater crocodiles, which are just as old as the dinosaurs would be if they didn't go extinct. These findings have been published as a new paper on nature.com, and if you want to read more about it, it is down there in the story link for you. There's also been a lot of cool research about what the dinosaurs actually looked like, and Marissa covered it in a video yesterday. You guys should definitely go check it out, but be warned, it will make you really scared of birds. Alright guys, that is all for this IO. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin, and click one of these two videos over here if you guys want to keep watching I.O.